Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. I'm with Vinesh Hasrabuddin, the National Vice President of the BJP, a Rajya Sabha member. But much more interestingly, at this time, the BJP is in charge of Madhya Pradesh. Welcome to the print, Dr. Hasrabuddin. Namaste. You are the man in the hot spot. <laughs> well, Madhya Pradesh is in the hot spot. That's right. But congratulations uh, to the BJP and to all of you. You have been able to take away Jyotiraditya Sindhya from under the nose of Rahul Gandhi and the Congress Party. What is your take on this? How did this happen? Well, it uh, speaks volumes about uh, the Congress uh, party is being run. Uh, frankly speaking, I am saying this not as a BJP person, rather because uh, I should not be commenting upon the internal affairs of a different political party. But as a student of political science and right. political parties have been uh, a part of my research work so far. Yeah. So, if I look at it from that angle, parties uh, and how they are institutionalized, or they how they could be institutionalized, I think. Congress presents a case book study kind of mm -hmm. how not to run a political party. To be very frank about it, to be very blunt about. It. In what way? Why do you think that they are not doing a good job? See, after all, parties are what? Parties are organizations of human beings. Mm -hmm. If at least forget the karyakarta, the grassroots level worker. In fact, he or she is more important rather when you kind of build up an organization. But at least people of the rank of uh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, the kind of standing they had, the kind of background he had, they should be feeling that they are wanted in this political party. Jyotiraditya felt he was not wanted? Perhaps, apparently. No, but it, is that what he told you? Nobody says it in so many words. Just imagine why a person of his standing is pushed to the periphery and he feels that perhaps I am irrelevant in this political party or the way the party is being run, it is irrelevant for me, you know, for my politics, for my career. It is uh, very painful. I mean, again, I am looking at it as a uh, student of political science. So I mean, political parties did... should not be run in this way. That is my take. So, what did you do? What did the BJP do? How did you approach him? That is for Mr. Jyotiraditya Sindhya to share with us. But then any for any political person who wants to reach a particular destination, don't you think that he will take only that bus which is going to that destination? And which is this bus? It is the BJP. Okay. For anybody who is aspiring for his own as well as the development of the society and the country, will have to go and sit in the or take the bus which is named as... So, there was no space for him in the Congress bus? Apparently. Apparently. So, how did you or, create... Or perhaps he might have felt that the bus is not going to reach to the destination. So, how did you create space for him in the BJP bus? Well, we have... I mean, there are... Uh, I'm not talking about any particular case in no, this... No, I'm asking because it is a big coup for you, for the part, for your party, to have got somebody of his stature, of his reputation. I mean, he lost the Lok Sabha election in 2019. But having said that, he is a person to reckon with in Madhya Pradesh. No, therefore... So how did you get him? The point is... I don't think parties like BJP require to engage any, in any kind of an extraordinary effort for that matter. For a people like Jyoti Raditya Sindhya or earlier say Himanta Bishwa Sharma, who were continuously feeling being neglected, being not considered, right. being not even heard, for, forget everything. What did Himanta Bishwa Sharma said after his exit from Congress party? That way, when he wet, met uh, some of the senior leaders, I won't be taking... Like me. Rahul Gandhi. The leaders were busy feeding the pet uh, in their family, in, the, in their house. The, the pet dog. dog. Yeah. The leadership was not interested in listening to what Mr. Bishwa Sharma had to say, had to explain. If this is the way human relations are being handled in uh, the grand old party of our country. It is painful. So, that's how he approached you or did you approach him? No, that is what I am saying. I uh, need not be that uh, I should be involved in the way things were handled. But there were other leaders. This matter has suddenly escalated in the last 48 hours or so. And as the things unfold, what are the steps that you see in this unfolding? I mean, three things, basically, as I said, for any politician who wants to make some change, who wants to contribute in the reconstruction of our country for that matter, in every possible way, and also wants to build up his own career further, wants to look forward to playing a, a significant role in national polity, uh, perhaps he has left with no other choice but 
the BJP. But do you feel that you are now the party of last resort? Well, I won't be using these kinds of terms and I would like uh, the opposition parties also to be stronger uh, as, a, as, as a student of democracy rather. But then, uh, as I said, party building has always been uh, uh, considered as uh, something not very important in our country. But uh, Dr. Sahasrapati, tell me, now the uh, Sindhya family, his father of course, Madhavra Sindhya, who very unfortunately died uh, in a in a air crash. It was his 75th birthday, birth anniversary on Holi, which is the day that his son left the Congress party. His buas, Vasundra Rajay, Yashodara Rajay, they are also in the BJP. So, is it a ghar bapsi of sorts for the young man? Yes, of course it is, because the entire Sindhya family, uh, I mean, if at all there is any kind of a stamp on that family, it is that of the BJP and the Jan Sangh earlier. And of course, the Dadi Vijay Rajay, who yeah, was of course, a, that is what I'm a founder saying. Even of the Madhura BJP. was a BJP member of parliament for a while. How did this happen? Was he upset? Apart from being upset at the Congress, was he happy to come back to the BJP? That is what I'm saying. I'm trying to explain you that these are the matters of the process. Hmm. I need not be handling that process because there are others also. Right. So I would not be saying on this. So anything. was this led by Prime Minister Modi and um, no, no, uh, how do Prime I know? Minister Basically, as I said, the situation. Ri was ripe enough for Mr. Sindhya to take a call, which he has done. But if you remember, his father, Madhavrao Sindhya, also used very critical words about the BJP. Do you remember well, that? Especially yeah, after the yeah, demolition yeah, yeah. of the There are many. Emergent. There are many. Why only Madhavrao Sindhya? There are many who are currently in BJP and were earlier in the Congress party. They had to go by the Congress party's perception about BJP and they were uh, very strongly criticizing the party, which is... Uh, like who? Many... Uh, why should I take names? No, but you can give me one or two no, examples. No. Many people who are currently in BJP and earlier in Congress party or in other parties also for that matter, mm -hmm. were earlier critical that happens. What is so new about it? So it's a change of heart. Change of heart when yes, they move. Yes, and change of outlook also. Change of heart. Change of perception also. But change of heart in what way? Change of assessment also. In what way? In, in the sense that if for his own particular political career and for whatever the national or social mission that he might have, he or she might have set before his or her eyes, if he believes or she believes that BJP is only the is the only option available for me. But don't you think that this is also, in a sense, uh, it is not, there's no ideology involved? I won't be saying that because, ideology... because in case of Mr. Madhara of Sindhya, uh, the, the origin of their political journey start this India family I'm talking. In the case of Jyotiraditya Sindhya? Yeah, in the case of Jyotiraditya Sindhya, the origin of their ideological legacy of the family has a essential stamp of the BJP. So, wh wh why should be? And then it ma it's a matter of interpretation also. In what way? Some some would say that it's hypocritical that you are in one pa party one one day and you are accusing the BJP of various things and now the but, second day... But our you... democratic polity doesn't uh, disallow to have that change of heart translated into action. So, what is the problem? So, you have no problem with people who are changing their mind and one day they no accuse No political the party will have, ma'am. Political parties are not uh, rotary club kind of associations where uh, one has to apply and then the board decides whether X, Y, Z should be given admission or not. Political parties are movements essentially and more so parties like BJP which have a cadre, ba which is kind of a cadre based mass organization. We are a mass political party. We don't have a screening mechanism. Hmm. Those who want to join, yes, they are welcome. No problem. But you are and we will transform them. We will make them a good uh, public figure kind of, a functionary, which is why we have a training set up in BJP, unlike many other political parties. But is Jyotiraditya Sindhya also expected to go through this training? He will eventually, whenever, say for example, he becomes a member of parliament. Now, there are routinely held workshops for members of parliament. But I want to come Recently, back. we had uh, in the month of August for all members of parliament, two-day workshop, even the prime minister. Uh, but I want to come back to what Madhavra Sindhya said after the demolition of the Babri Masjid. He said that 
the BJP that's a, that's a story of the past, ma'am. Why are you <laughs> still no, roaming the past, in the past? Because the past we are in is the a present. With let the us present. let us talk about the contemporary issues. Okay, so you are willing to forget the past? Yes, of course. You are willing to forget that his father called the BJP is, a Desh Drohi? I agree. People might have uttered certain words, made certain comments. That is a matter of past, as I said. In a particular political situation. Maybe the situation compelled them to say so, which must not be from the bottom of their hearts as well. Hmm. Let us give a benefit of doubt. So you're willing to forget that Jyotiraditya was now because he himself has uh, desire to forget. What about the other people in the Congress Party? Do you feel that there is a lot of disaffection, disenchantment in the Congress, and that other people are also waiting to join or willing to join the BJP? Well, I cannot comment upon uh, what all uh, the turbulent kind of. Uh, situations are there in the congress party or various state units of the congress party i would not be knowing i would not be knowing but of course there is a kind of disenchantment with the current leadership of the party and which is why people are feeling maybe insecure in the congress party so this is sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi i don't know but have you made overtures are you making overtures towards the towards other young leaders in the congress not at all we don't require to ma'am you don't require to yeah of course people themselves if they are willing to join bjp why should we indulge in this kind of a thing that is not uh, something which we indulge in so what is going to happen in madhya pradesh you have a crystal ball you are in charge of the state from your party what is happening in this particular case 22 mlas from the congress and from other parts have quit the party so just to explain to our viewers does this attract the anti defection uh, law see when they have resigned there is no question of anti defection law had they disobeyed the party whip then anti defection law comes into the force so are they also going to join the bjp let us see so how does it unfold if you can let just, us see. what are the that options is a, it is a little premature no, to but what are the predict options? Right. what or what all is going right. to happen no, no. but i'm just asking what are the options in in front of uh, jyotiraditya and these other mlas who are who have quit the party options are there for uh, everybody to analyze for that matter there's nothing that uh, no but so, so if you can just explain there will be a flow test so can you just yeah of course i mean as a, what i envisage yeah. is yes. after uh, things unfold to a particular level yeah. the governor will have to intervene right. will have to uh instruct the incumbent chief minister to go for a floor test because the majority that he claims to enjoy is uh, doubtful so you will stake claim no no first of all he will be defeated squarely on the floor of the house yeah of course okay and then logically the no. government governor will explore other ways of forming a government in the current vidhan sabha no. and then bjp will come into the play <laughs> and which is a constitutional kind of methodology i am not saying anything on my own what that is how things would unfold so what what is the role of the speaker in this speaker has a key role he has to accept these uh, resignations within 7 days as i am told mm. that is the time limit till which he can sit on those resignations but later on he cannot as per a court ruling as i understand so S shivraj singh chauhan remains the leader of your party in madhya pradesh I think uh, let these uh, developments first come to a particular level. Today in Madhya Pradesh there is no dearth of leaders. Mr Gopal Bhargav is our leader of opposition. Mr Shivraj Singh Chauhan is our national leader. He is the vice president and also a member of legislative assembly and there are other leaders also. But he has been former chief minister for 3 years. Yes terms. of course he has been. But is there going to be a claim by Jyotiraditya to become the next chief minister of the pradesh will remain as i said it is too premature to comment upon that let us give the things also to take some time to come to a particular level and then we can discuss this uh, last question is how does this compare with what happened in maharashtra well in maharashtra it was a kind of daylight robbery on whose part well i need not take names but people who were with the party with the bjp who promised the electorate that we together are going to form a government and one fine morning they say oh no no we are not going to form a government and we are going in alliance with parties against whom we fought elections no, but let's so that just is take a names. daylight robbery of the mandate but let's just take names in maharashtra ajit pawar left the mother party the ncp and joined the bjp 
brought people with him. But then there was again these other MLAs went back. So in this particular case, are you at all concerned that Jyotiraditya Sindhya could do the same thing? I don't think so. History doesn't repeat in this way. <laughs> So you are confident that… Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as I said, I would uh, restrain in commenting upon this situation because, as I said, let things mature and come to but a no particular no comparison level. between Maharashtra and Madhya not. Pradesh? Of course not. Of course So you seem quite confident about yeah, that? Yeah. In fact, in Madhya Pradesh, ma'am, one should understand that BJP was, in fact, ahead of Congress party in so far as vote percentage is concerned. Just because we were a short… we were short of four or five seats and they had that much edge. And we decided in a true democratic spirit to allow them to form the government. And we didn't stake our claim, which is why they formed a government. But now, I mean, the situation in Madhya Pradesh also need to be looked into from this angle. There is a huge amount of frustration even amongst the Congress party workers and their elected representatives, MLAs included. In Madhya Pradesh? Yeah, of course. In what way? They are frustrated because none of the promises given by... Don't you recall what Rahul Gandhi had said? That within 10 days, all the loans will be waived off. Mm. Nothing has happened. 10 months, more than that. Mm. So naturally, the party rank and file doesn't feel that this is their government. The MLAs don't feel that this is... He is their chief minister. So naturally, when that uh, level of affection, affinity goes away, people desert. So will you waive off the loans if you come to power? We, we have whatever promises we have given, we will work on them. So it was very close, like you said, in the 2018 election between the BJP and the Congress. But the fact is that after 15 years, the Congress was able to take Madhya Pradesh from under your feet. True, true. And therefore, we willingly said that, okay, fine, we recognize the mandate. What and are the we lessons the you learned from that? Well, to govern uh, or to give good governance alone, may not be enough. You have to create that perception that you are providing good governance. Many a times there is a gap between whatever is real and whatever is being perceived. And uh, to overcome that gap, I think uh, it requires uh, more efforts as we end. And you realize that Jyotir Aditya Sindhya was, remained unhappy? Well, uh, insofar as his existence in Congress party is concerned, uh, what were the reasons for his not being happy? It is for him to explain. On this note, Dr. Sastrabudhi, you seem so confident uh, about Mr. Sindhya and his flock. This is Jyoti Malhotra for The Print. Please continue to watch our YouTube channel. It's very awesome.